In my previous video, we have learned about the 9 things about algebra expressions. So, have you mastered them yet? If not, I suggest that you watch that video first and then you come back to this video. In this video, I will teach you how to solve hot questions in algebra expressions and we'll start right now. My name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Before I proceed to the first question, do you know what does HOTS stands for? HOTS stands for Higher Order Thinking Skills. The purpose of HOTS questions is to train your mind to think critically and analytically when answering questions. Let's take a look at the first question. Remember to pause for a while to read and understand the question carefully before proceed to looking at the answers, okay? Here we go! For question number one, Amy is 10 years older than Basil. After 8 years, Carmen's age is twice of Basil's age. A. If X represents Basil's present age and T represents the total ages of Amy and Carmen after 8 years, Express T in terms of X. B. Find Carmen's age after 8 years if T is equal to 46. To solve this question, we let Basil's age to be equal to X. So Basil's age to be equal to X. Okay? Or S. Amy's age. So Amy is 10 years older than Basil, which means Amy's age is equal to x plus 10 because it's 10 years older. So after 8 years, so after 8 years, we're going to find their ages. So Basil's age would be so x plus 8 years, so x plus 8. Whereas Amy's age will be x plus 10 plus 8. So x plus 10 plus 8. So which is equal to x plus 18. Okay, now we got to find Carmen's age. So Carmen's age. Let's look at the question. After 8 years, Carmen's age is twice of Basil's age, which means it's twice of Basil's age after 8 years. So 2 times bracket x plus 8. So equals, you're going to expand this bracket, 2 times x and 2 times 8. So we get 2x plus 16. So let's look at A again. Huh? The total ages of Amy and Carmen after 8 years. Express t in terms of x. Okay, so we have to find the t, which is the total of Amy and Carmen's age after 8 years. So Amy's age after 8 years is x plus 18, and Carmen's age after 8 years is 2x plus 16. So we're going to add these two together. So x plus 18 plus 2x plus 16. Okay, now we open up the bracket and then we arrange it according to the like terms. So x plus 2x, 18 plus 16. Okay, equals, so x plus 2x is 3x. 18 plus 16 is 34. So that's the answer for A. Now let's look at B. Find Carmen's age after 8 years if t is equal to 46. So t is equal to 46. So before that, let's look at A. We have the answer t is equal to 3x plus 34. So we're going to substitute this into this t, okay? So 3x plus 34 equals to 46. So now we have to find the value of x by doing linear equation. 
So 3x will remain it on the left hand side. Then we shift the 34 over to the right hand side. So if here is plus 34, we shift over, it's minus 34. So 46 minus 34. So we get 12 and we bring down the 3x. So 3 times x is 12. So to find x, so 12, okay, 3x, 3 times x, when we shift the 3 over, it becomes divide. So 12 divided by 3, which is equals to 4. Okay? So now we're going to find Carmen's age after 8 years. So Carmen's age after 8 years is okay so Carmen's age after eight years so we look back here so Carmen's age after eight years is 2x plus 16 so I'm going to write here 2x plus 16 and then just now we found that x is equals to 4 so we're going to start to do this 4 into here okay so equals 2 times 4 plus 16 okay is equals to 24 years old so that's the answer. For question number two, Mr. Ken wants to buy 10 kg of rice and 2 kg of sugar at a local supermarket. A. How to express the total cost paid by Mr. Ken in the form of algebraic expression? B. What is the total cost paid by Mr. Ken if the price of rice is 2 ringgit per kg and 3 ringgit per kg, respectively? To solve this question, we let the price of rice per kg to be equal to x and the price of sugar per kg to be equal to y. So let's look at A. How to express the total cost paid by Mr. Ken in the form of algebraic expression. So the, to find the total cost, we're going to use the mass times the price per kg. So 10 times x is 10x. And plus, so the mass for sugar, which is 2 kg, times the price per kg, which is y. So it'll be 2y. So this is the answer in algebraic expression. Let's look at B. What is the total cost paid by Mr. Ken if the price of rice is 2 ringgit per kg and 3 ringgit per kg, respectively? So we're going to write down the total cost again in algebraic expression. So total cost is equals to 10x plus 2y. So in this question, x is 2 and y is 3. Okay? So equals 10 multiplied with 2 plus 2 multiplied with 3. So 10 times 2 is 20. 2 times 3 is 6. So therefore, the answer is 26 ringgit. For question 3, the diagram above shows a rectangular land owned by Adam. The shaded region is planted with vegetables with area of 3a square plus 2ab minus b square in meter square. Adam intends to fence the land except around the cabin. Find the length of the fence wire needed by him. To solve this question, first of all, we have to find the area of the shaded region. Let's look at this diagram. So, in order to find the shaded region, we have to use the area of the rectangular land minus the area of the cabin. Okay, so I'm going to write the working here. So, area of the rectangular land minus area of the cabin I'm going to label this as A and it's equals to area of the shaded region Okay, so to find the area of the land we're going to use length times breadth which is 5A plus 2B times with a plus 3b and then minus a and it's equals to the area of the shaded region which is given here which is 3a square plus 2ab minus b square so 3a square plus 2ab minus b square 
and then we have to expand this one by one okay so 5a times a is 5a square and then 5a times 3b is plus 15ab and then 2b times with a is 2ab and 2b times with 3b is 6b square so minus a equals to 3a square plus 2ab minus b square and then we have to solve this according to the like terms so 5a square and 15ab plus 2ab so we get 17ab and then plus 6b square then we bring down the a so equals 3a square plus 2ab minus b square and then I'm going to shift everything on the right to the left hand side and move negative a to the right hand side so we'll get 5a square so here's 3a square so when we shift this over to the left side it becomes minus 3a square so minus 3a square and then we bring down 17 ab and then this one plus 2ab when I shift it to the left it becomes minus 2ab so minus 2ab okay and then plus 6b square and then negative b square shift over to the left becomes plus b square okay and it's equals to a and then we're going to solve this so 5a square minus 3a square is 2a square and 17ab minus 2ab is 15ab and then 6b square plus b square is 7b square and it's equals to a okay and then I'm going to swap this around because I want my a to be on the left hand side so 2a square plus 15ab plus 7b square okay and then I'm going to factorize this into two different brackets so two brackets let's look at the first term 2a square means is 2a times a and then 7b square means is b times 7b and because all positive therefore all positive in the brackets therefore the area of the cabin is equals to 2a plus b and a plus 7b okay so next is to find the length of fence wire needed so before that you look here again area of cabin is 2a plus b okay which means that this side is 2a plus b okay and then a plus 7b will be over here a plus 7b okay and then in order to find the perimeter which is the length of fence wire needed which is the perimeter we need to know the length of this this length and this length okay so I'm going to label this as X and here will be Y okay so now I'm going to show you how to find the length of X first so to find the length of x, I'm going to use 5a plus 2b, which is this length, minus of a plus 7b. Then I will get the balance, which is for x. Okay? So x would be 5a plus 2b minus a plus 7b. Okay? Equals. So 5a minus a plus 2b minus 7b so equals 5a minus a is 4a and then 2b minus 7b is negative 5b and now we have to find the length of y so to find the length of y we're going to use this length which is a plus 3b minus 2a plus b okay so y is equals to 
a plus 3b and then a minus 2a plus b. So it's equals a minus 2a and then plus 3b minus b. So a minus 2a is negative a and then 3b minus b is positive 2b. Okay, and then to find the length of the fence wire needed, we're going to find the perimeter. Okay, so length of fence wire. Okay, needed. So we're going to find the total of length of x plus with a plus 3b plus this and plus this. Okay, we don't have to find the distance of this. So, we're going to use x which is 4a minus 5b and then plus here a plus 3b and then plus 5a plus 2b and plus y which is negative a plus 2b okay then we open up all the brackets so and then we arrange it according to the like terms so 4a plus a plus 5a minus a so 4a plus a plus 5a minus a okay and then here negative 5b plus 3b plus 2b and plus 2b okay then we'll get the answer 4a plus a plus 5a minus a is 9a and then negative 5b plus 3b plus 2b plus 2b is positive 2b and the answer is in meters so that's the final answer. Well, that's all for now. Do you wish to see more horse questions like this? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!